This is a quick tutorial to show you how to connect Watcher to Cubasis. So we have Cubasis in Watcher loaded as apps. I'm going to go into Cubasis and what we will see here is there are three tracks I've set up, all we record on. And the thing to go into is the MIDI routing. So if you go into the routing, we've got a choice of virtual MIDI, various track numbers and channel numbers are all inputs. The ones that seem to work are all inputs or virtual MIDI and then you select the track sorry the channel number so in this case I've got channel 1 and then for track 2 I'll have channel 2 and track 3 I've got channel 10 so that means we're sending MIDI in on channel 1, 2 and 10. Um, I've also got some effects set up but that's uh, just for effect so to speak. Okay so if we go back to Watcher um, I'm going to add a template here and I'm going to add something from uh, let's say one of these piano damped okay if we play that we get a melody if I go into text to music here I can change the melody by pressing the random number and we'll see we get a number of different notes different words which we hear now if I press it again Let's go with that. Okay, so I'm now going to just give it a bit of chording and just a bit of delay. Now that's all coming through Watcher at the moment. If we go into settings and we go devices and turn core MIDI on, what we should hear is we hear Cubasis playing through channel one and the patch I've set up. Turn the IC off, we hear it more clearly. So what we have now is this is Cubasis playing on channel one, the OO choirs. So if I go back to Watcher, I'm going to add another template here and I'm going to add something uh, metal shine. I'm going to load that. We won't hear it this time because the IC is off. But what we hear is that this is going through to MIDI channels 1, 2, and 3. So MIDI 1 is also playing what we've got coming through on Piano Damp MIDI channel 1. So if we just drag these all to channel 2, and then they'll play through Cubasis on channel 2 that I'd set up. The final thing I'm going to do is add a drum generator of drums, and we're just going to go into Gen Drums 1 and select, say, this one. And we should now hear that. And that's all coming through these three MIDI channels, which I've set up. And we can see that this is what's happening. Okay. So now let's say I want to record this. So I've got um, all three channels. And I'm going to just stop watcher for a second. Okay, I'm going to go back into Cubasis, press the record button, start watcher. And you'll see it's recording. Now you could you do this through audio bus or OM or some other interact audio thing. So if we just stop that and we're going to stop watcher playing. And if we go back to Cubasis and we play this, we should hear what we've just done. And there you go. That's created a MIDI file and we've recorded that MIDI file into Cubasis. I hope that helps you figure out how to connect the two together. Thanks very much for listening. I'm adding a quick short addendum to this video, which is to show that if you want to record Watcher and Cubasis without having to swap between the apps, you can use the transport controller in Audiobus 3. So we have Audiobus 3. If we just press the record from Cubase and the play button from Watcher at the same time, then it will kick off the recording. And then if we go, when we're done, press the pause buttons, then we'll find that we should have recorded what we wanted to. So if we go into Cubasis, and if we play that, there we go. We've got what we wanted, so it's all there. 
Hope that was helpful.